Now, inside this package is the all new Geekom A5 2025 edition. Now, it's not the fact that this mini PC is super small, compact and sleek. No, it's not the fact that this mini PC goes for under $300. Not really. It's the fact that I can literally stand on this mini PC. Let me explain. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel more than you know. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So right off the bat, you get a good presentation of the Geekom A5, which is super nice. It looks super premium and it feels heavy, but I'll come back to this later. Now inside the box, you do get the manual. You also get the adapter, which is a 19 volt output. Super nice. You get a HDMI. You get a VESA mount, which is super nice because you could just mount it at the back of your monitor, giving you a clean setup. Now for this beautiful PC right here, man, I'm not gonna lie. Let's take a look at this. Now this form factor is 652 grams in weight. You get two USB type A, Gen 2 by the way, and you also get a headphone jack at the front get a on and off button right there you get this cool ventilation that comes in at the side and at the back you get a adapter port to hdmi to usb type c to usb type a and a ethernet port and at the side you get this cool ventilation as well and a sd port which makes transferring all your pictures from your camera super easy and quick Okay, so first of all, let's talk design because there is a lot of claim around this mini PC. Geekom is using copper metal around this PC, which conducts and removes heat better than aluminium. As we can see in the previous models, they usually use aluminium, but now this strengthens the PC a lot more, making it super reliable. It doesn't matter if you're playing games for a longer period of time or editing a video, the temperature is still going to remain the same. And I'm not gonna lie, this is looking super cool. Now, under the hood, did you get a AMD Ryzen 5 7430U processor, a pre-installed Windows 11 Pro ready to go, you get up to 64 gigabyte of dual channel DDR4, a PCLe Gen 3X4 SSD storage up to two terabytes, it supports 8K display and multiple screens, and you also get a Wi-Fi 6 and a Bluetooth 5.2. Now, this is a 2.0, 4.5 gigahertz turbo, six cores, 12 thread machine. And to be honest, it's actually decent. And I just opened up a lot of tabs to see how this PC actually performs. And I am currently at 94 tabs opened. So I don't really feel that there's any lag. I can hear the fan going up a little bit, but now we're gonna put this on a benchmark to see how this mini PC performs. All right, so at the moment, I'm going to try out benchmark to test out this PC's performance, how it could render games and so. Okay, so currently we are averaging somewhere around seven to eight frames per second, which isn't bad. It's pretty decent for a PC worth under $300. And we're just gonna see the results of this later. Okay, so here are the results. We did get a great result. And yeah, we did average somewhere around 7.50 FPS, which is great. And we also got a great score, especially for a PC like this and it isn't that bad but now the best way to try out this pc even further is to try out so many games now at the moment i am in dota 2 i hope some of you guys play this game because this is one of those games that is just super great to play all right so now we're in dota 2 all we're gonna do is to raise up the quality and let's go for best looking now playing games like dota and other indie games on this pc is just nice it's super smooth and then you go on to my favorite type of games age of empire I mean, this game never dies. It's just that classic. But I do want to challenge this PC a little bit more by playing something like Call of Duty. And I'm averaging somewhere around 33 to 40 FPS. Isn't that bad? I'm just gonna say that I could play this game all day without any problem. So it's actually going good. And the time is here. So before I actually stand on this mini PC, I do want to say, please do not do this at home. And I just like this type of experiment where I get to prove some people wrong. But at the end of the day, this is just me and this PC. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stand on this mini PC because Geekcom is actually claiming that this mini PC right here can withstand a pressure of 200 kilos. Now, 
they are saying that this has a copper frame in the middle and also on the knees that helps it stay super steady and also it prevents any type of damages within and on top and at the side which i do think is a common sense for a product to have not like my iphone but it doesn't matter now before we do all that i do have my scale over here and i'm going to weigh myself first and Let's see how that works. I am somewhere around 100 kilo. Yeah. Moment of truth. Can this PC withstand 100 kilos? This is just gonna be fun. Let's do this, let's do this. 100 kilos. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is crazy. What? Now that is super crazy. I actually stood on this without any problem. I mean, for a PC around $300, I'm just super stoked right now. What? I mean, this video has been super fun. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.